Okay, now our next step, I'm going to show you a method of how you can select an equation. Because seeing that now you have a whole set of equations, your challenge will always be to select the correct equation to work out the problem that is given to you. So this is just a very simple method that you can apply in any equation, in any syllabus, that, in, in any topic that you look at. You have to write down all the given information. Once you have written that down, you need to identify the unknown. What is it that you must calculate? Then you need to select an appropriate equation. The equation must contain the unknown and it must also accommodate the other given information. Then you must manipulate the equation, meaning you must make the unknown subject of the formula and then you must substitute. Okay. So we're going to look at these examples to see how we can apply that procedure. So that first example there says a train accelerates uniformly from a velocity of 4 meters per second. So if they say from, it means that's your initial velocity, u, from an initial velocity of 4 meters per second. Then they continue to say to 12 meters per second. So to 12 meters per second, that is the final velocity it gets to. Then they continue to say it does that over a distance of 256 meters. So your S is 256 meters. Then they say calculate the magnitude of the acceleration. Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration. Then you go into your motion equations to check which one to select. Okay? Now the first one says V equals to U plus AT. So we're looking for A. It contains A. Do we have U given? Yes. Do we have V given? Yes. Do we have T given? No, we don't have T. So we can't use the, the first one. Then we go to the second one. The second one contains A, which we are looking for. And then we ask ourselves on the second equation, do we have S given? Yes. Do we have U given? Yes. Do we have T given? No. So we can't use this one also because we are not given time. Then we move to the third equation. We're looking for A. But we need to have V as well. V is given. Is U given? Yes. Is S given? Yes. So we can use the third equation. Third equation says V squared equals 2 U squared math plus 2 AS. Then we make A subject of the formula. It will say V squared minus U squared over 2 times S. Then you substitute. This V is 12 squared. U will be 4 square that. And then 2 times, what is S? S is given as 256. And then you get your answer. Your answer will be in meters per second squared. You can then work out the final answer. Thank you.